Hello YouTube! So recently I just got an iPad Pro, which is honestly such a game changer. I got this as an anniversary gift from my, I was gonna say beautiful, but I guess he is beautiful. I got this as a gift from my husband for our 10 year dating anniversary and he knows how much I've been wanting this, especially since last year. I really dug into a hole with watching Procreate videos and learning how people use it to make things like stickers and cards and just use it so much for digital illustration. As a beginner on Procreate, I've learned how to use the basic tools as well as a little bit more advanced tools like the smudging brush. So for today's video, I wanted to show a quick little project that I did. It involves using a picture of some products and making an illustration out of it. So I'm going to show the basic tools that I use to make this really cute doodle that I made. I think it's a great way for beginners to learn, especially how to use the brushes as well as colors and just kind of working with layers. And it really helps you kind of create a process in creating illustration so that's what I'm going to do today and I hope you enjoy so first things first I'm going to open the app procreate you can get this for $10 and that is a one-time fee and I'm starting off with a flat lay image that I took on my phone I edited the photos so I can get the colors and tones I wanted but if you are just learning this technique and don't have your own image you can go ahead and use an image that you found online before doing anything else I'm creating a new layer and this layer is the one that we'll be using to trace the image. I go in with the color picking tool and select a color for the outline. You can do this by holding down the center brush button while using the pen to select a color. So what I like to do is go around the edges to find a darker color and then use that as the outline color. Then you can go ahead and trace the outlines of the product. One trick to make outlining easier is to actually turn down the opacity of the image. To do that, you have to go back to your layers, select the image layer, click on the little N, and then bring down the opacity. But depending on the look that you're going for, feel free to use whatever pen or brush you'd like. For my outline, I'm going in with the Nariner pencil, and this gives a slightly uneven texture, which is what I'm going for. Now for the text, I like to go in with a smaller size in the same outline pencil, so I'm still using the Nariner pencil here. And again, you can select your color by going over the actual text on the product. Make sure that you go back in and put your opacity all the way up before doing so. To make things easier, you can start off with the straight lines in the text, and then you can go into the curves and lastly fill in the letters. So some products are going to have a lot of text, but I just chose to stick with the brand name and the product name for this particular image. And when you look at the end product of the text, it looks pretty similar to the original picture, but it's just a little bit cuter because you used your own hands to write it. Now to finish it off, you need to color in the outlines and... To do that, you want to make sure that you create a new layer and then put that layer underneath your outline layer. That way, you're not coloring over top of the outlines that you just made. For coloring the products, I'm using the 6B pencil, and then I'm going to use the color picker to choose an overall shade for the product. Since there is going to be a variation in colors between the highlights and the shadows, I like to pick something that's in between. Trace the shape of the product first, and then fill it in with a larger brush to make it easier. And if you mess up, that's okay. Since we are working on a different layer, you can select the eraser tool and then clean up the edges without affecting the outlines. And that's it, your first product illustration is complete. I love this technique because it teaches you how to use layers, colors, and brushes in Procreate as a beginner. This was such a fun way to show off some of the new skincare products I bought, and it was also very therapeutic for me to do. Subscribe for new videos every week, and I can't wait to share even more projects as I get better and better at using Procreate. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.